Hello guys, Chris here today. Um, just doing a reaction to the Splatoon Nintendo Direct on the 6th of July. Um, very excited to see what they show. Um, I'm hoping they kind of show off the online app as well, because that's due in the summer. And I think Splatoon is probably going to be the first game to use it, so I reckon they will show how that's going to be incorporated. Um, anyway, without further ado, I want to try and get on with this in case my, bat my phone runs out of battery. Here we go. Uh, when it loads up, and here we are. Peggy Seven. Nintendo Switch. Oh, hi there. We of the Squid Research Lab have returned to present our latest findings. So buckle up and keep your tentacles inside the vehicle at all times. Get out, good research, research lab. Two years since that fateful day when the inkling squid species. With its amazing abilities to shoot ink in humanoid form and to swim through ink in squid form. From these goofy depths, a radical squid culture has emerged. Inklings have developed a taste for combat and competition, not to mention fashion. The ceremonial turf war is one such sport in which two squid squads of four face off to see which team can cover the most turf with ink. This popular tradition isn't going anywhere. It's going for the classic modes. It's ranked battle, where the very best teams and players compete online to achieve a higher rank and ultimate ranking rights. Here in Inkopolis Square, Inklings prepare for ritualistic face splatting by equipping gear and weaponry. But it's not all doom and gloom. It's a good introduction to Southern Modes and the uh, main hub, the Incopolis. In fact, everything about Incopolis lends to its reputation as the foremost happening place in the world. As you can see here, communal aspects of Inkling society are greatly valued. But so is individual expression. Nice shoes. Like other separate parts, Inklings can even choose their skin and eye color. How cool. Unlike regular squids. Be more customization. And legwear too. The various clothing and shoes the squids are wearing is actually called gear and has important roles in these battles too. A lot, lot more customization by Lexa Rich, kind of cool. Let's take a look at some gear. It takes more than style to win a turf war. Luckily, the Galleria over on the left houses a row of popular gear and weapon shops. Each item you acquire Same as last game. That's cool. Should prove effective in battle. So, let's take a look inside, shall we? This is the headwear shop. Headspace. There was some new shop owners, my legs are it. So does flow. From hats to glasses, this sea slug carries it all. Though I must say, she's a bit of an odd one. Inklings like to think of her as their crazy old aunt. The old cloth shop is a clothing boutique run by a jellyfish named Jelfonzo. Jelfonzo, I think he's from the old game. Like most jellyfish, he can speak the English well, it's similar. But it's almost as if he learned to speak Inkling by reading ancient Inkling literature. His strange manner of speaking aside, the young squids of Inkopolis are crazy about his wares. <coughs> Next up, the shoe shop, Shell Fresh. They have all kinds of footwear here. Yeah, there's a lot of new shop owners by Lexa. It looks like they've uh, got rid of the old cast. And might I the shops look a lot cooler. The least crabby spider crab I've ever met. He's got an air of experience, and he's a pretty chill guy to, uh, well, to boot. <laughs> Last but not least, Sheldon's back, though. Let's go see Sheldon again. Ammo Knights. You may recognize the horseshoe crab who runs the place. Sheldon has a gift for weapon design, and his uncanny ability to blather on about ink weapons <laughs> is second to none. Now, I know what you're thinking. If only you could tune out his weapon dissertations with the press of a button. Well, now you can. Sheldon's really outdone himself. I can't <laughs> wait to study these weapons in greater detail. <laughs> I look at the weapons. Hopefully there might be a new class. To start, Some new we'll ones in there. Sets of three. A main weapon, a sub-weapon, 
and a special weapon. Standard. Oh, the soundtrack sounds great again. This is my favourite track from the test fire, this one I'm playing at the moment. Also, it rolled as well, kind of my main weapon. Yeah, charges I didn't get on over overly well. That's a cool one. Each weapon and weapon type has its strengths and weaknesses, so you may want to shop around before you settle down. In Splatoon 2, some of the weapons have extra functionality that was not present in the first game. Chargers now let you keep your charge while swimming around in the That's air. cool. Rollers can be swung vertically to increase your range. And the new duelies let you dodge roll. As you can see, some weapons open up some interesting maneuvers. But what That's cool. R and D without the development part. Introducing the Clash Blaster. Okay, new weapon type. It has short range, but its high firing rate and explosive tendencies keep the enemy at bay. Introducing the Flingsa Roller. <laughs> its horizontal swings are fast. And though its vertical swings take longer, they fling ink further too. Believe it or not, the rotor changes shape depending on how you swing it. I wonder if shape oh, cool. has a special significance to each of Introducing the GoTuber. Okay. This one is special. It holds a charge for an extremely long time. And as a result, you can move to a better location while powered up and unleash a mighty sneak attack. Ow! Introducing the Dapple Doolies. <laughs> Even for a pair of doolies, these things are incredibly light in weight. That way you spend less time dodge rolling and more time winning. But what about sub weapons? Is there anything new to see here? Sub weapons provide other abilities that help with both the best and reconnaissance. All the old regulars. That's cool. It can be annoying if it's against you, though. The aptly named toxic mist can be thrown into this, surrounding them in a harmful gas. Oh, wow. That's just the beginning. New sub weapons are currently in development. A plethora of unexpected tactics are possible when you mix and match your weapon combinations. So try them out. So we're going to have brand new uh, sub weapons in the uh, DLC. Uh, now for the all new special weapons. And by all new, I do mean all of them. Oh wow, so getting rid of all the old special weapons. That's cool when I played it at the hands on, it's pretty cool. The stingray fires high pressure game that can somehow shoot through walls. That's cool. The splashdown clears out enemies by causing an explosion. I like the splashdown as well. That's cool. Communicating the damage from a single attack, 
That's the cool one. I thought it was going to be like a bubble bit, but it looks so much better. The going in depth. Looking at the stages. A sports club. An academy. Cool, some new stages. A concert. <laughs> a racetrack. And so on. Catch my drift? I certainly hope so. Because these stages are riddled with hazards. Such as this ship. Pull Matt calls back. That would be cool. Looks amazing. Oh, they're adding more things to it. More air towers. That's got the uh, travel beams on it now. In addition to turf war, serious squids can experience the thrills of ranked battles. There are three modes that rotate every two hours. Very cool. Tire control is a lot of fun. Splat zones. Fight for control of the splat zones placed on the stage. The team that maintains control of them longest reigns supreme. That's cool, not sure we did in the first game or not. That's cool. Your rank will increase. This will result in being matched with players of a similar skill level in future ranked battles. This time around, you'll have a separate rank for each mode. Oh, cool. I like that. Because obviously, some people are better at some modes than others. And you may even move up two or more ranks at a time. <coughs> League battles allow you to form a team with friends, fight alongside them, and battle your. <coughs> That's cool. So bringing back the uh, abilities, that's cool. I found that really, really good in the original Splatoon, very strategic. Probably a good all-rounder or... Oh wow, that's cool. That's cool. Quickly spawn reduces your respawn time if you get splatted repeatedly without splatting anyone yourself. On the flip side, respawn punisher increases respawn time, and the special gauge spawn penalty for you and any player who splats you. That's cool. Want to know what you're up against? Check out the other player's gear on the map 
screen. Gear abilities present many unique challenges, so it pays to study not only your gear, That's but awesome. competitions as well. Remember, Merch can add or remove gear abilities. Cool. Do you get to choose the abilities or is it all random? Because last time it was kind of random. Now, for the job everyone's been talking about. Salmon I have some new information that I'm happy to share. The job description says it's easy work with good pay. Work together as a team of four to splat salmonids and collect their power. So I'm taking on the horde mode. Apparently this is the place the time. Looks kind of shady if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, so it's not. I pulled some strings and got a hold of this manual. It's not a full time. It's only certain times you can play seven run. It sure helped out back kinda. Especially when studying dangerous boss salmonids. Kinda not great. Ah, the steel eel. These salmonids block your path with their long bodies and they jump. Holy crap! Yeah, I saw that for a laugh. Yeah, no. This behemoth builds bombs on its head with toxic ink and then throws them at targets. I'm afraid that's not all. Other undiscovered species of boss animals lurk in the depths. Oh, crap. And so too does the water level. Stay on guard when ball gets in. Salmonids will attack from all sides. Yeah, this looks intense. Wow. Someone tells me Simon Ron isn't going to be my forte. Indeed, it certainly is dangerous work. However, <coughs> special rewards make it more than worth the trouble. Some items can only be earned in Salmon Run. They may have possibilities in battles, so why not give it a go? Next, I'll detail a new service in Splatoon 2 that will help you stay in touch with Incopolis, even when you're not near your console. Fair enough. Splatnet. To Splatnet 2, a service that puts information such as stage schedules, gear, and stats at your fingertips. That's cool. In Splatnet 2, you can view detailed results for your last 50 battles and get an in-depth look at the weapons and gear wielded by the players in those battles. You can also look That's at cool. rates for specific modes and stages, helping you to analyze and improve your game. You can also view your lifetime inkage, a feature that shows you how much turf you've inked compared to real-world places. And for you gearheads out there, there's also a separate Splatnet shop that allows you to send gear to merch in Encopla Square. That's cool. Keep it in the back for you. Splatnet 2 will be available to use via a smart device app called Nintendo Switch Online. Okay. The Nintendo Switch Online app allows you to invite other players who also have the game to join private battles, league battles, splat test battles, and communicate with those players using voice chat. When using voice chat, you'll automatically be split into your in-game teams, so you can talk specifically to teammates. That's cool. You seem pretty fresh. That's a little look at the little app. So I feel you should be in the know. Check out this equip menu. Here you can set the control sensitivity separately for TV and handheld mode. That's cool. And there's also a handy sort feature. Feeling artsy? If you submit your fresh drawings here, they might show up in battle stages and in the Compolis Square. You can post to some of your social media sites too. Science truly is. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I show up in the stages. Next on my list is a um, good that it shows up in stages. It's a shame. I don't have the Metopia um, functionality. What's more, you can also get exclusive gear from Amiibo. Or strike a pose and snap a photo with them. Brand new Splatoon cool. series Amiibo will be available. Yeah, they're showing the Amiibo off. And the 
all Splatoon series amiibo yeah. figures are compatible as well. Also, food. Food. to grab a bite at Krusty Sean's place. Munch down on this stuff, and you'll get more points and money from battles. Oh, that's, that's pretty awesome. That reminds me. Here at the show, you can play locally with friends using their own Nintendo Switch consoles. You even get to pick any mode or stage you want. Oh, cool. Most players at the show That's a local multiplayer. But for more serious competitions, land play is also possible. I almost forgot Fair to enough. mention that the England music scene is flourishing. You can play Squid Beats 2 and time your button presses <laughs> to the beat. Go on, rhythm game. Here yeah, I made. That's the single player I'm guessing. Notice this manhole or uh, squid hole in the plaza? It leads to the home of the Octarians, arch nemeses of the Inklings. Venturing here will put your prowess to the test. Stand alone against a multitude of challenges and an army of menacing Octarians. It's also a great place to learn the battle. That's basis. cool. Take different weapons into battle and master their many uses and nuances in combat situations. Well, that's kind of cool. What's up with Marie? She looks awfully worried about something. Your updates. And stages today. What, what more can science offer How about some content updates? New weapons are in development. <laughs> Say hello to the bro. <laughs> Much like an Umbra, it offers both beauty and functionality. That's cool. That is pretty awesome. And if you continue holding down the button, you can even do this. <laughs> Weapons are on the way. And of course, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty hyped for some of the updates that got coming. Obviously, give me stages as well. Oh wow! So a year of updates and then Splat Splatfest are gonna be a couple of years. Ah, uh, but what is a Splatfest anyway? <laughs> I'm sure some of you know them even better than me. These events split players into two sides and pit them against each other in four on four matches for a limited time. Each Splatfest has a polarizing theme, <laughs> leaving players with one option to pick a side and compete to win in turf war. May the freshest team win. And for the first time. You can fight alongside your friends on the same team. That's cool. So I'm really looking forward to this game at the moment. Now, before you go, I have this little video for you. <laughs> you don't know how or why it exists, and yet here it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I just love how much of a lore and kind of world Splatoon's built up, even from one game. <laughs> okay, so new characters, must be a DJ I guess, Marina and Pearl. They're going to be like the new Kali and Mari. Yeah, the new Squid Sisters by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit random, but it's pretty cool.
it does visually look great as well. That's one thing I've got to say about this game. Like, a lot of people were saying in the first reveal it didn't look much different to the first game. Whereas, um, it's definitely taking a step up. Yeah, there the new Kelly and Mari, they're going to be the one setting off the, uh, there we want to tell you what stage is available. <laughs> okay, so it's Black First World Premiere. 15th of July. So that's 5 to 9. Okay, what theme you got? Cake versus ice cream is the one they showed off earlier. So we get one more kind of test fire. <laughs> That's awesome. We've got some really good stuff coming for the game. Yeah, it's straight first July. And that's it. Yeah, I'm really happy with what they showed in there. Um a lot of good stuff. Uh the game's looking great. And uh Yeah, bring it on. Um, hopefully I'll be able to spend a bit of time on it on the 15th. I'm trying to count what day that is, I think it's probably a Friday or Saturday, so I might not be able to do the whole thing, but hopefully get a little bit of a gameplay in. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, hope you're as hyped for this game as I am. Any comments or anything you have, uh, let me know. And here's the next time. Thank you.